Let's give them something to talk about. And he never complimented me ever once. And of course that burns my ass, you know why? Because I'm like the person who did the most for him ever. And he doesn't even care at all. Oh well, I cut my losses and that's it, goodbye. I'm done rubbing it in, I'm done. I'm just done. Yeah, I think at the time when I was on, I really like was trying, I guess deep down to try to be defensive towards him a little bit because I still really loved him and it was hard to like, it's so hard to admit that the person you love can fucking sexually assault you and you know what it happens to a lot of women and we don't even realize like if you tell a man over and over i don't want you to fuck ass, it hurts and then he gets mad he would get mad and go anyway and like ram himself in and just fucking like like one point i had to like kick him out of me like I, and and i was bleeding so to me that's what i reported to the police he really is a fucking swimmer somebody who like like, what, you're telling me Didi's not there? Well, if he's right there, and you're using her for emotional support or whatever the fuck you're using her for, jobs or whatever, and then calling me at 11 and at the hotel, I'm at the hotel asking me for money. Like, I can't. I, I, I can't. I can't. You want me to feel bad. You want to make me look like a liar. Well, then don't be a liar. Don't lie to people and tell them I didn't pick you up. Probably got really drunk and really angry. Drank the rest of the tequila. I bet you he w he was screaming at the rat guy the other night. I woke up to him. I heard ah, and the rat guy was like all sounding scared. And then he came back upstairs. He was hammered off the tequila. Came sat in bed and I went, "What's wrong?" And he went, "Shut the fuck up!" I swear. <laughs> I'm so never. Go I'm so glad I'm not there. He is keeping his options open. Wake up, girl. <sighs> Says he's not doing it. But if he is, the worst part is, is that like he's so jealous of me doing something, you know? Look, you have nothing! You're gonna make fun of my villa? You have nothing. Even if my villa's dirty, I pay 2000 a month rent out of my pocket. And I pay 900 out of your shitty, for your shitty fucking trap pad. So I could go there and get addicted to drugs with you, and be abused by you, and be treated like shit by you. And cheated on by you, and given gonorrhea by you. And be disrespected every time. We're at the hotel. He was really, really stressed out. And just like we were fighting. And... Even then, like, even after I accused him of, like, SA because of the anal sex thing, he still bugs me, would bug me for it. Like, it's like he has to... He feels like it's his right to own my ass or something. It's so weird. Like, ugh. Anyway. He would, like... I was trying- I was looking on Uber Eats and I was just going through things and I was like, Oh, do you want octopus? And he's like, yeah! And, but the octopus was like, $40 and like, I knew that like, the hotel room was expensive and I was like, oh my god. Anyway, and then we went to this like, hotel for a night and I ended up like, seeing like, a place called Kofax. It was like, donairs and fries and it looks good so I, and it was cheaper so I ordered it- ended up ordering it. And I don't know if I remember if I ended up telling- I think I didn't tell him that I switched ideas. So... The food came and he like he's like what's this, and then he was like what the hell is this and he's like I'm not a fucking animal and he like threw the sandwich, and then he like walked around the room all mad like he was like pacing and then he like got mad and he like smack fucking smack me, <laughs> I was like what the fuck, I was like you fucking hit me, I was like shocked that he fucking hit me, I was like you can't do that I started crying I was like. I was humiliated, like, I felt like weird, like, I don't know, my face got all hot. These are things I have to lie about and be okay with if I want to be with him. Okay. So don't tell me behind the scenes and fuck me for a year and use me for a year. Because I can prove with my bank statements that I was sending you money the whole fucking year. You really want to go there? He's a bad partner, like, and it's not just me, his ex, like, too, like... Um, said that he, like, made a copy of her house key and, like, snuck into her house at, like, four in the morning and stuff like that. And she caught him, like, doing inappropriate things in her- in the next room and stuff, like, just stuff like that. He reads your messages on lives. I know. He's a complete asshole to me. And 
I was very good to him in a lot of ways. He's going to try to make me look nuts, fix his reputation. And I'm like, fuck that. And I was sincerely reaching out because I cared about him. And him, it's always an ulterior motive. He's fucking crooked. Yeah, I would, you know what? You're right. One time, like, he would have, like, sometimes I would see his messages and I wouldn't say anything, but I would be like, so why is there video chat for, like, third? No, I would say something. I did say something once. I'm like, so what's the video calls then? <laughs> I would be, like, two days, and that's why he would always be, like, not wanting me to leave. And he would be like, he didn't understand, like, oh, I, I'm, I don't let you leave. And I'd be like, well you like you know okay one time i'd be like i'm going home if i just wanted to say i want to go home you would take my person like throw it across the room you know like something like that so obviously you don't feel like you want to like leave right at that moment because you don't know like you know what i mean so you don't know what he's gonna do <laughs> is this i can't believe this is for real i can't believe it it's like a double life like he's so like possessive like why are you so possessive and controlling if you you're not in a relationship with me he laughed with my ipad smoking my original um what was it my friggin reserve stash of sativa hi sandy that's the thing i do have like i did film his video where he and he was like yelling at me in some points and i'm i i think she's under his spell, too. Like, I honestly think she's, like, where I was at. Because he's not claim. If they are together, he doesn't claim her either. You know? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want me to, like... He wants to be on my good side until things are, like, blown over with May. I don't know what his fucking problem is. Like... I don't know. Why don't you tell them how you lie to make your food look better? Like, on the barbecue, when you took a bite of that rib? You, if you watch him holding it like that... It's because it was so tough, he was like chewing it and then a piece came off and he's like, fuck, how am I going to put that on camera? So he held it with his hand like, and then took a bite, make it look like it would just come off. Why did you have poppers in your drawer anyway? What did, oh. That fucked me. When I seen that, that's another thing. If you saw that in your man, if you were going through your man's drawer and you saw a bottle of poppers, which they used to loosen the ass, asshole during anal sex, he's probably fucking plowing rat guy. Or the girl on the porch. He's plowing somebody with those poppers. And I just ignored it. I was just, I believed him. He's like, I just found the ball. He got really mad. I'm like, what is this? And then I looked it up while he was in the shower. He's like, I don't know. I just found it on the ground. There was like something in it. And I was like, and then I looked it up. I'm like, well, you know what they're used for? And he's like, he acted stupid. Oh, he's such a fucking manipulative piece of shit liar. What a fucking horrible, horrible time. Like, just running to the gas station away from like chasing me down the street and like ridiculous just has to end like goodbye yeah i know rosewater that was yeah for sure of course it could be worse i know that but it doesn't completely negate anything i went through i went through hell too just because i don't have kids with him but i am thankful that yeah i'm, I'm okay right now i don't even know what day i don't even remember what day it was he was like yelling about me. I told you guys about the fight. He was yelling about me. He was like screaming at me all day about something with Pete. So I wanted to leave and then he wouldn't get out of my car. Like I went to go, I ran out the house, ran into my car. He ran into my car, got in the car with me. He wouldn't get out of my car. I'm like, leave. He was like, I'm not leaving. I'm like, leave. He wouldn't get out of the car. He's like, call the cops. Call the cops then. Call the cops. <laughs> Fuck. So I got out of the car, ran to the gas station. He called me Delphine number two because he, no, 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 no. He called me Delphine number two because I was going to put him in jail just like Delphine did. Bitch, you put yourself in jail. You stabbed her. You put yourself in jail. So, you hit me. You put yourself in jail. I told you I don't like anal. You kept pushing. You put yourself in jail. Anyway. I fucking hate you and I hope you burn in hell and I hope you go to jail. Alright. So he told me that she called him over and, uh, I don't remember exact details, but she called him over. He called called him over. He went over. He she lured him over there, whatever. I don't know. I don't know how he got there. Anyway, he ended up in a room with not this big he said this is his big native, her big native cousin was blocking the doorway and he couldn't leave. She was holding him back so he couldn't move. 
So he, so then if she's holding your arms, how did you stab her? Like, where did you have the time to go into the fucking kitchen and get a knife? So I just kind of like, you know, and where, this whole, this big native cousin who he stabbed to was not in the picture, like in the trial, nothing. This big native cousin is nowhere to be found. So which is it? Because you're saying a real man would never let that happen to him. He changes it to fit his narrative. Classic narc move. Yes. Safe to say he lied about that. He's a narcissist, right? Exactly, Vicky. He told me the story on the, like the second day as if to tell me like, okay, well, I have a problem I'm going through. Mm -hmm. He's basically saying he can't overpower. Uh, I don't know. Sadist narcissist, absolutely. He basically said that she asked him to come over. They were broken up. She had a no contact order on him too. Dog deterrent should keep Navar away. <laughs> she made like we. I was mad. Okay, here's the thing. I showed up at his house at like three in the morning. I'm walking up to his door. There's this fucking. I see it looks like a black heap. And as I'm approaching, I'm like, is that a garbage? Because sometimes he would put his garbage out, condoms and candles. So I'm, I'm getting to the door and I'm like, I fucking freaked out because it moved. And I, I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like a, fr a young French girl. She was not bad looking, but she looked really dirty. Like she hadn't showered in a while. Like she was homeless, right? So then, uh, like she looked homeless. She had like a bag or something and like a coat over her. And um, she had their little tea light candles on his door and she had a Pepsi and she was just sitting there with the candles. And I was like, she's like, oh, don't, I'm sorry. Um, I know the man who lives here. He's my friend. And I was like, or she's like, he won't mind me being here or something like that. So then I'm like, okay. And then I just like knocked at the door and then I was like, there's a like he came to the door but he didn't have pants on like no pants no underwear i don't know if he like he looked surprised like he opened the door and then he looked down and he was like what the hell and then he's like who are you you know and like he acted like he didn't know her and she was like oh i'm sorry uh he's like you can't stay here you can't stay here and then i went inside and i kind of like got mad i was like what the hell why is she here why did she say she knew you why you know i've given him shit and she, he was like oh my god are you serious you think i would sleep with a homeless person and then i was like go tell her to get the fuck off your porch i'm like number one she's not supposed to be there why is she hanging out on your porch then call, call like get her out of there you know, I was mad. I was like, because I thought he was like, I didn't believe him, sort of. I was like, why? It was sketchy. I was a little sketchy. And then he didn't. I, he made a joke at one point in the night. He's like, you don't want to invite her in. She might be like cold or something like that. And I was like, I was like, are you kidding? But he laughed, like maybe testing me to see how I would react. He did that a lot. So then I went back to check if she was there and she, she was gone. And there was like a bit of garbage. Like it looked like she was like doing it on purpose. She left her garbage all over and she left. She blew up a whole bunch, like three or four condoms into balloons and left the wrappers laying around everywhere. Is this a message? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe as a saying, you might want to use condoms with this guy. I don't know. I don't know, but and that's what happened. I don't understand. It drives me nuts because I don't understand. <clears throat> I like somebody who's like literally just done so much more for him than her, and they can stay together for a whole week without any fighting. Like we fight all the time. Is it because I'm not like saying yes enough or what? Is that what happened? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, and the more I'm away from him, the more I see. And, like, he's so disgusting, too, like, the way he talks about me, like, so your vagina shut, you're a whore. Like, you're disgusting. And I, I'm just so mad. Like, I know he tried to hide. Like, the, when the clinic called, they, I wasn't supposed to answer. Like, that wasn't, I wasn't supposed to get that call. He would have kept the whole thing fucking secret. Whole thing secret. Guarantee he's on medication right now. Guarantee. Because the Kleenex in his room is from Gonjonkatu and guarantee he went to Jonkatu to get his gonorrhea medication. He spits on his floor. He's charming at first. Yeah, very, very briefly. God, I'm a soccer player. I've been to 27 countries. You're just a friggin' Tinder, sw Tinder swindler. It's so obvious. Nobody understands what it's like to be getting out of a fucking narcissistic, abusive fucking piece of shit relationship nobody gets it nobody gets it or that or just people hate me so much they're willing to support a fucking fucking abuser that's real nice that's he is sloppy i went to a hotel with him once hotel monville when we were just like hanging out and I didn't order him, like, what he liked, and he got really mad. He's like, I'm not a fucking animal! And then he fucking, like, smacked me across the face. And I was like, and I, I was like, are you fucking serious? I'm like, this is why you're fucking going to jail. 
And then he's like, uh, see? He's like, how can you, like, he gets mad that I, like, said that. Well, you can't fucking slap me whenever the fuck you want. He's sloppy. Yeah. Sorry. But it really pisses me off to hear him say, like, he specifically goes out of his way to be like, I don't have a girlfriend. Here's why you have a girlfriend, Natter, okay? You can call me your not girlfriend, just like, uh, you can lie your way out of a lot of shit, but I have, like, literal DMs of you literally telling me you love me and that you want to live with me. I did have some, like, I don't understand this. No, I deserve, I deserve that because you know what? I put up with a lot of his shit and I do a lot for him and I fucking do a lot for him. Like, you don't even know. Well, you do know. I really don't miss his bedroom. I don't miss his bed. The smoking, the, the disrespectful, incessant smoking and waking up him yelling at his roommate and just uh, him being mean and horrible yeah Sam And I want to tell you, I want to admit something because I'll feel, I'll feel better because I'm admitting it to myself right now. I, I want to acknowledge this. This is exactly how I feel. I still love and care about Natter. But, 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 and I have this whole time probably, but I also know now that it doesn't matter because I can't be with him. Hi, marhaba. <laughs> <laughs>